welcome back to Cheat Day. I'm really excited because the room smells so good right now. I know, I wish we had Smell-O-Vision so that you guys could truly understand how amazing the aromas in this room are. And actually, today, Lil, we're gonna be talking about or trying foods that's actually meant to be consumed and taste good. Basically, we're gonna try a bunch of stuff that was made from the recipes in celebrity cookbooks, but like an actual chef made it, so it's gonna be good. There better be some Chrissy Teigen on this table. Oh, I hope so. Let's go! Bring it on. What is this? This is Blake Lively's Detox Smoothie. Oh! You guys, this is so chunky. Oh like, my gosh, smell it though. It smells amazing. This is like very solid. Like it doesn't feel like a smoothie. It feels like this, it, it's like guacamole. It's like a vegetable jello, possibly. Oh, spoon. we do need a spoon. Thank you. Oh, vegetable jello. How enticing. But here's the thing. You could literally tell me that Blake Lively eats animal feces and I would probably eat it because have you seen <laughs> what perfect. she looks like? Look at her hair, look at her skin, look at her face. Look at her, Ryan right. Reynolds. I'm, Here, let me feed you a spoonful. No, no. Oh, you, look you, at no, the hair no, is coming no, off. No, we can feed ourselves. Okay, one, two, three. It smells like apple, actually. Okay, so this is great. I don't know if I would use the word great, but it's not bad. I okay. taste pineapple and um, apple. Is there parsley? There is. There's something red. I think that might be the apple skin. Um, Here's the trick. What well, else that's green? Cucumber? <laughs> like, kale, I, kale. I don't know, I'm not familiar with There's any. There's kale, there's something very leafy. Okay. Here is actually the trick to making smoothies that are super healthy and not just sugar, is you gotta leave the skin and the roughage in there. The roughage? Yeah, because that just goes into, it's like a rotor rooter for your insides. It just pushes everything out. This is detox, it's supposed to like detox you. I don't like it, but I could definitely eat it. It tastes mostly like apple. I will say that on this new Lil's journey of sampling new foods, a year ago, your eyes probably would have watered when you tried this leafy green mess. No, it tastes really apple -y. Like, it really doesn't taste like vegetables. Bar. I just don't like the texture. It's like really, it's a lot of things to chew. I love this, but I feel like we need something more like I just, this is not smoothie texture for me. This is, this Salad would be good. Soup. This would be actually it's like a, really good like if, a you chowder, throw, if you froze it. <laughs> <laughs> Detox chowder. Write that down in your diary and let's put that in our cookbook. You said that as if I really have a diary. <laughs> you should start just, one. Spit. So what would you tell Blake Lively to do differently? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing everything right. Is yeah, this is that a like chowder? Chicken pot pie, but like without the pie? This is Christy Teigen's chicken pot pie soup. What is this? Stop. It's um, pie crust. Oh my gosh, this is Chrissy Teigen's <laughs> chicken pot pie soup. <laughs> Lily is like so physically <laughs> reacting. Guys, it's really weird that I like chicken pot pie because there's like vegetables in it. But I don't know, my mom started feeding it to me when I was little and I feel like I've been obsessed with it ever since. By the I way, don't know if you caught that, but this is chicken pot pie crust. You Stop. love a good pot pie. I literally had some last night. Look at that. It looks like there's ham. Does she actually make this from to... scratch? Wow, Chrissy Teigen, you got it. I'm trying to get the best bite I possibly can. Okay. Wow. You're gonna freak out. Is this good for you? There's some bacon in there too. This is amazing. And this is, well, I, I don't know if I would say a healthy alternative, but. Healthier. You're not getting as much crust, but like the crust is the best part. <sighs> This is really, really rich and really good. I want to eat all of it, but I know we have so many more things that we're supposed to eat. This is amazing. I wish that I liked cooking. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that Chrissy Teigen looks the way she does mm -hmm. and is as funny as she is and can also cook? No, I can't. Talent horror. <laughs> Love it. The chicken pot pie is like the reason I'm um, okay with peas. That is so mind blowing. <laughs> Tell me. I need to stop eating this. No, no, don't stop. It's good for you. It's food for the soul. Mm -hmm. Very conflicted. This is Oprah's turkey veggie lasagna. I'm very conflicted because I love lasagna. Oprah? Well, Anna. Oh. Anna. <laughs> Anna Oprah. True. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> yeah, but I love lasagna. Do you know like her and Stedman are always out in their garden picking fresh vegetables, taking them inside, giving them to Meghan Markle's mom. My favorite thing doing ever stuff like is that. Tiffany Haddish doing the interview on Ellen when she talks about she used to write Oprah letters. <sighs> Love that. Asking for them to go into business together. I mean, I think they would play the game. And they would sell all of the vegetables they grow and it would really be Oprah growing them at uh, farmer's markets. <laughs> so 
my, well, my downfall here is that I want it to be noodles still. I don't, those are But like, Lil, this is a really good fresh alternative and if Oprah it, says it's good, it probably is. Zucchini? Is. This is zucchini, I was layers. Gonna say cucumber, I'm like, that's not what they would use to make lasagna. It's gonna be a little soupy. Here's Ooh. my question though. Oprah, Ooh. baby girl, mm. queen of the world, are you still cooking? Do you think she likes to cook? I don't know. If I was her, I'd be like, I'm getting people to I'm cook still, more. Okay. Lily's so picky, I hate her. Um, I'm but, eating it, I always eat it. Even when I know I'm not gonna like it. But this looks good. I, I think I'll like this, I think it'll be fine. Oh, also, is this eggplant? Do you like eggplant better than zucchini? <laughs> no. Okay. But I do love a good meat sauce, so we'll get some extra tricks. This is okay. great. <laughs> I've told you before that sometimes I'll make pasta sauce, but then I'm too lazy to cook the noodles and I'll just eat the pasta sauce alone. So Tomato soup. Kind of, Essentially. But, but with meat. You do love tomato soup, though. I do, I do. Okay, wait, let's get back to the Lil's cookbook. Be beyond the fried food world, which we know you completely dominate, air frying, deep frying, etc. what else would be in your cookbook? I think we'd find a good lasagna recipe. Okay. Some meat sauce, mm -hmm. that then you could use in the lasagna recipe. Yeah. Maybe some, I love some cornbread. Ooh, a good cornbread. Some cinnamon rolls, maybe. But I just like store-bought stuff, so none of this would actually be, the cookbook would be like, go to Ralph's. <laughs> Go buy crescent rolls. Well, it would be like life hacks, which I think is actually very relatable. <laughs> life hacks are just like my grocery list. A little bit of This both. is good. It kind of just tastes like meat sauce with some... Um, Vegetables. Yeah. Also great. Definitely on it, brand for it me. It doesn't really like substitute for lasagna for me though. But if you were trying to get like super duper healthy, this is a great option. And it tastes good. But can't you like make noodles out of things that like taste more noodly? Like zucchini. Yeah, but like I have like this. But when it's like in noodle zoodles. Form. Like zoodles. Yeah. Like I have a zoodle lizer and I zoodled my finger multiple times. So be careful. If you're making zoodles at home, just beware. Vanilla chai. What is chai exactly? It's tea leaves. Actually I'm not really sure. I just know that they have it at Starbucks. And I know Oprah. they have chai tea, but like what's just chai? It's no a one tea knows. Leaf. Okay, so this is from Taylor Swift. Does Taylor Swift have a cookbook, or does she just release her recipes to the online world? Just release her. Recipes. She like posts them on Tumblr. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And Taylor's been known to like give cookies to fans. You have pumpkin spice. I have vanilla Ooh. chai. Okay, so this reminds me of a kind that my mom makes. Mm. That it's like almost like a cake cookie. Like it's not like crispy at all. It's like really soft. Ooh. Too like, bad Megan doesn't have that. a cookbook yet. It's she like ready. Know. Ooh, damn. Okay, here we go. Yes. I mean, new one like this. The frosting game is on point. <laughs> Sorry, that was aggressive. You would love this. Hmm? Okay. I don't want to taint the taste of that with pumpkin. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. It's amazing. It doesn't really taste like anything. The frosting's really good. But in, in like a, <laughs> I was gonna say in a good way. I do like it, but it's not very flavorful. It's not overwhelming. Cause sometimes chocolate cookies can be like a little that, too much. That is really good. Wow. I haven't had cookies in a while. I haven't either. <laughs> do you, oh, have you ever made cookies from scratch? Like not from Pillsbury dough? It's hard. I've only done it like once. That's of course, I would trust Taylor Swift's cookie thing because like she's always baking, I feel like. Totally, I have a question though for you and this is gonna be really hard to answer. Oh God. Would you rather eat these or pudding? Pudding. Pudding, obviously. Mm -hmm. yep. Do you know you can add pudding to cookie mix though and it really pluses it up? This tastes kind of pudding -y. That's why I had to think about it first. <laughs> yeah, this is special. We need to find out if there's like, like sour this cream or in something. Pudding? In it. What if you did one of those layered, what are they called? Pinafores? Poopafores? You know those layered things where you put in fruit and like little other A little thing? Whatever. <laughs> Chris Jenner brownies. Chris Jenner Guys, brownies. I don't think I've ever seen brownies look this moist. There's a lot of pudding in there. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> if anyone has an eye for pudding, it's Lily. Chris Jenner, how much pudding are you packing? This is at least 60% pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but look how moist it is. It's like, is it just not cooked? This borderline reminds me of the cake in Matilda that- Oh my gosh. <laughs> that he has to eat. <sighs> Oh wow, God. Chris uh, Jenner. Well, I really don't like this. Is heavy. How much does it weigh? <laughs> Three pudding pack. <laughs> See, it's heavy. And even I wanted to. 
Can you hear it? Is it talking it's just to you? so moist. I don't like nuts. The word moist but, um, is very concerning to me. You know? They're literally like... This is fudge. Straight up fudge. It's, it's more like pudding, actually. <laughs> Beg to differ. Is there pudding in this? Does anyone know? Okay, here's the other thing. I just don't like nuts, so it's really hard I to eat around. I hate walnuts. <laughs> walnuts to me are the most useless of all nuts. <laughs> but this actually doesn't taste bad. No, the Would brownie you pick isn't. around the nuts? I'm not sure I'm trying to do right now. Squeeze the nuts out. <laughs> <laughs> you could always make it without nuts. If you made it without nuts, I'd be all about it. I don't know if it would stick together. Though. But also, like, this is really chocolatey. It's very rich. So is Chris Jenner. <laughs> She's so freaking rich. I was just gonna say, I can't picture Chris Jenner like in the kitchen baking. Brownies. Oh my gosh, I can wearing a robe and her glasses, hair and makeup done, grandchildren running around, Corey Gamble, her boyfriend hanging She's out. She's far too busy running all of their lives to be like making brownies. Brownies take a long time to bake. How long? Like 45 minutes. Oh, I've never done it really. <laughs> That's guys, all? Only guys, six courses? I thought that was all really good. This is truly even, one even of the best the episodes we've ever lasagna done. was good. Even the veggie detox was fantastic. I don't know, well, so all these celebrities, if they're day jobs, which I don't even really know what some of them do. I mean, Chris Jenner is a momager. Manager, yeah. Chrissy Teigen is an icon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, that's it for today's episode. Let us know what else we should do in the comments below, and then subscribe and hit the bell, because that'd be great. And let us know if you want us to write a celebrity cookbook. Would you buy it? What would we put in it? I'm like certain nuts. Things. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Nut butter. We should release all of our cookbooks online for free for Because charity. they're gonna be so bad. Online for free for charity. <laughs> That's a great way to raise money anyway. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and if you're really curious about what is happening at Clever, you can click in this box right there. Yeah, it's been a crazy week, but you guys, we are still here, and if you want the latest, just run right over here. Also, subscribe, would yeah. you?